Hi everyone, Jan Hoth here with NurtureTheLeader.com and I'm so excited to be with you today because I'm going to be sharing with you a concept that I have created to assist me in my own life to lead the best life that I possibly can with the most harmony and happiness. See, it wasn't too long ago that I created this concept called the happiness prism and as you can see I'm holding a triangle up to my heart right now because that is where the happiness prism lives. And in this video, it's actually the first of a series of videos that I will be coming to you with where I will share with you the power of the happiness prism if you actually take it on and engage it into your life. So for the sake of today, we will be covering just one side of the happiness prism, which is ultimately a triangle. And for today, we will be talking about the play aspect. So if you're looking at the triangle, this side is actually the play aspect. It's, um, on me, it's my left side. So if you draw a triangle on your paper, it will be the left side of the triangle. The play portion of the happiness prism came to me at a time in my life when um, I was actually a teenager and I was actually very depressed. I didn't have a lot of things going on in my life and I had a teacher actually that saw something in me and it was a German teacher, it was a substitute teacher of all people, so someone I didn't actually interact with that, fre interact with that frequently. And yet she saw something in me and she invited me to try out for a scholarship, a scholarship to go and study abroad for a year in Germany. Now here I have depression and I'm taking antidepressants and yet something inside me said yes, try out for the scholarship. Well, I went and I tried out and I got the scholarship. And miraculously, I got over the need to take antidepressants and I have never required antidepressants since. And why that is, is because I connected with this concept of play in my life. Now, sometimes play can look like, yes, taking on something huge, an endeavor like going to Germany for a year as an exchange student. So that might be a very extreme example of play. But if you were to take it down to just right in this moment, what's something that you can do that would evoke the experience of play in your life today in this moment. It may be stand up and dance around your room or your office. It may be turn on a favorite tune. It may be to pick up a phone and call someone that you find entertaining. It may be just sitting and having a reflective moment and having a deep breath. But for today, to ignite that portion of your happiness prism, I invite you to go ahead and consider what you may do to experience play in your life right now, today. Thank you for stopping by for this installment of the Happiness Prism series, and I look forward to connecting with you very soon with the next installment. Bye-bye.